Welcome to the spring game, the virtual spring game opening act. I am Jack Mitchell, and yes, there's not one but two virtual spring games today. And this one, maybe for a little bit of an older crowd, but since we've got all of these players from yesteryear playing against each other on a virtual stage, we've got to have something for generation, the end of generation of Y and generation X and older. So let's go, it's the Reds versus the White. The game before the game, and Bobby Newcomb, feared punt return, excuse me, punt and kick returner, taking that opening kick back to the 23. All right, let's see what the red team has stored up. Amir Abdullah in a running back, Tommy Frazier with the pitch to Mike Rozier in a nice backfield. Amir and Mike Rozier will make up the red backfield to start the game. Offset eye to get things going. Tommy Frazier again, same play to Rozier around the corner, and he's got the first down and more out to the 37 yard line. First down. Red team as Tommy Frazier leads his team back out. Again, the same look on offense. Again, the exact same play. But if it works, why go away from it? Mike Rozier for a gain of 12 or 13. And let's see if we go. We got a little bit of a different look here. The split back set. And this time, the give off to Mike Rozier once again. And the red team really, really leaning right now on the Heisman Trophy winner, wasn't enough to get the first down there, but let's see what Tommy Frazier and the red offense has planned here. Rich Glover on defense. And don't forget that white defense uh, also has Grant Wistrom, Jason Peter, a couple of teammates there from the 90s, and a really stout front seven. I think the more stout of the two teams there. Now we've got Amir Abdullah, and he goes uh, backwards there, and now we've got a big play here. Second and 10. Shotgun look for the first time for the red team. Tommy Frazier back to pass wide open receivers he's looking for Irving Fryer in the end zone and he's got him for a touchdown absolutely nil coverage for the white team there and Tommy Frazier hits Irving Fryer it's 90s to 80s and we've got a 6-0 lead for the red team in the first quarter 237 remaining the extra point is kicked through red lead 7-0 let's see what Eric Crouch can do here with the white team, Dewan Gross back to return the kick. Oh my goodness. I remember being in the crowd in 2002 when Dewan Gross almost took that kick back against Texas. Didn't quite do it. And then the interception from Jamal Lord. But those were sad times. Here we go now. And I uh, made a mistake. Grant Wistrom on the red team there. I got my teams mixed up there. First play there, Eric Crouch. Not much happening in the running game for the white team. Crouch back to throw. Looking for Amon Green. It's the Omaha to Omaha connection. And Amon Green has open field. All the way down to the 22-yard line. First down for the white team. Jeff Kinney, Amon Green. It's an all-Nebraska backfield for the white team. It's a fake to Kinney. And then Amon Green around the corner. He's got some daylight. 10. Breaks a tackle. All the way in there for the touchdown. White and they answer in a matter of just a handful of plays. Ladies and gentlemen, Amon Green looking good on this first drive. And we've got Alex Henry and another Omaha product out there to make the extra point. We've got a 7-7 game. And you're welcoming in to the opening act for the spring game 2019, or excuse me, 2020 virtual event. Bobby Newcomb on the return here. He looks like he's going to go down just about at the 25-yard line. Tommy Frazier, Amir Abdullah, Mike Rozier, Irving Fryer, and teammates get on here. And Tommy Frazier's going to run it for the first time here. We haven't seen him do this yet. He's able to get about, uh, looks like four or five yards to bring up second and five. Frazier with 32 seconds left in the first. Backwards pass. That was a lateral. Had Amir Abdullah not snagged to that, that would have been a fumble that the white team could have grabbed. They do not. And Amir Abdullah goes for enough yardage for a first down. Tommy Frazier back to pass again. Looks like he's got some very wide open receivers. Doesn't pick one of them, but it doesn't matter. Kenny Bell with his first catch of the game. The most covered receiver on the entirety of the field. Frazier still goes to him, gets the completion, and now he was buried by Tampa Bay Buccaneer Levante David. First sack of the game for either side. That gives the red squad of Tommy Frazier a big second and long play here. All kinds of time. Well, he had all kinds of time. Not anymore. Now the deep path. He's looking for Irving Fryer once again in the end zone. Same spot as the first one. Irving Fryer owns real estate in the corner of that end zone. And Tommy Frazier hits him again. Second Fryer to Frazier. Frazier to Fryer, I should say. Touchdown of the game. And the extra point is good. Red leads 14 to 7. These defenses, guys, look staunch coming into this game. But so far, nothing. And 
boy, that is Chris Brown with a very, a very weak kickoff there. Dewan Gross gets Aaron Crouch and this white squad right in to their side of the 50. Looks like Brad had the right play picked there. Grant Wistrom with the tackle. Amon Green didn't have much there. That's his shortest gain of the day. Eric Crouch has the ball again, showing off that signature speed. He's looking for room on the outside. Doesn't quite get enough of the first. Big play. Could we have our first three and out here the entire game? Eric Crouch, hands off, makes it to Kenny. Now to Amon Green. He's got room to run on the outside. He's got a first down to the 35 yard line as the clock ticks at 329. Crouch again. Wistrom on the left side there. And he is just, he is just, wow. Wistrom just not getting the pressure you'd hope he'd like to see there, but Crouch cannot get the completion. Now we got again, there's the handoff to Kinney. They've been faking that one all day. They were setting up that play, but the red defense was ready for it. Split back set, Eric Crouch back to pass from the Reds 40 yard line and another short pass incomplete. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have all endured enough lateral passes to the sideline this year that were incomplete. We shouldn't need to see them on our video games. Nonetheless, here we are, and oh my goodness, Chris, uh, excuse me, that was Alex Henry. Alex Henry with a rare miss, and now Red looks to take control here in the first half. They'll go to the Heisman winner, Mike Rozier, who fumbles, and we've got a recovery by Mike Minter. Good old number 10 recovers that one for the white, and Eric Crouch set up in scoring position. They look to Jeff Kinney right up the middle and down to the 24-yard line. What a turning point in this game. Tommy Frazier and Mike Rozier had a chance to really get this thing out of hand in the first half, but now the white team in the red zone with a chance to win it with a split, or excuse me, with a chance to tie the game with a split back set. He's going to go deep for Johnny Rogers. Really hasn't targeted Rogers at all this day, and he was double covered there in the corner of the end zone. Crouch is going to try again, again looking to pass. He's got time, and again. The flats are not working for the white team, yet they continue to insist to go back to them. Eric Crouch back to pass for a third time in a row. He's got a wide open receiver and he can't hit him. He cannot hit him. My goodness, that's an incomplete pass for the white team and they're gonna bring Alex Henry back again to try and get within four points here. That kick is up and this time it's no good again. Alex Henry not looking anything like we've come to be used to. From the Omaha product, he misses it. Mr. Clutch cannot get it in. And now the Red once again with a shot to take a big lead in this game. There's that weird lateral play again to Amir Abdullah. I keep thinking it's going to be a double pass, but no. Nope. Amir Abdullah just running it. Timeout here. 103 left, and so Red playing the time management game with Rogier and Abdullah in the backfield. They'll go to Rogier this time, and he'll get some yardage here up to the 49, almost the 50 yard line midfield. 43 seconds and counting. Hurry up offense for the Red. They've got five out this time. No one in the backfield, and there's the little backwards pass to Abdullah. This play has not been incredibly successful all day long, but the Red team is insisting on going back to it. Shotgun set now for Tommy Frazier. 29 seconds and an interesting play call here. They're going to run it with Frazier. He loses yardage. They're at third and two. They call a timeout. Folks, you got to think they're going for the end zone here with just 16 seconds left because there may not be time for them to get into field goal range and get a timeout. And here we are. And there it is. Exactly what I had predicted. Only to the 30. And we are at halftime. Welcome to half Jack Mitchell, you are watching the spring game opening event for all of you older people who played video games, who never had an Xbox 360, and look at the halftime excitement. And now Nebraska Red going to go into this roster. What do we have happening here? Take a look here, Tommy Frazier. Okay. Ooh, and look at Johnny Mitchell at tight end. A great decision there on the roster for the Red team if you want to see who's on that roster. That red defense, Wistrom, Peter, Jacobson, Albert, Williams, Rude, Murtaugh, Craver, Amukamura, Gary, and Bullocks. And then the white offense, we've seen a lot already from Eric Crouch, Anamon Green, Kenny Schlesinger, Craig Rogers, Stanley Morgan hasn't done anything, Nate Swift, and I lost him. Tyler Reed at tight end, Remington, Stein, Kula, Shields, White, Kelvin Clark, what an offensive line. Alex Henry, the giant goat of this game so far. Then that defense, Glover, Sue, Harper, Thomas, Ed Stewart, Levante, David, who had the big bubble recovery, Carlos Polk, and I couldn't see the rest of them. All right, here we go. Second half, and Chris Brown to kick off for the red team in a 14-7 lead. Thanks for joining us today in the... 
spring virtual game opening act. All right, we've got Eric Crouch again. Split backfield, Jeff Kinney and Amon Green in the background. He'll go to Kinney again. Kinney's been kind of a short yardage specialist. Amon Green has been getting the chunks of yardage on this thing. Still no target of Stanley Morgan, as we can see here, or much of uh, the running the ball by Crouch. Now we see it here to the 40, 35, 30, 25, all the way down to the 25-yard line. Best play of the day on the ground for Eric Crouch. Crouch, nobody in the backfield right now. Five receivers split out. He drops back to pass. He has time, has time surveying the field. And another ill-conceived pass to the flat. Eric Crouch just has a blind spot right now when it comes to to the flat. He's going to run it here once again. Probably a good choice instead of trying to throw it to the sideline, and he is down to the 10-yard line. First and goal from the 10. It looks like maybe they could just get a first down. We'll say from the 10 and a third yard line. Crouch back to pass. We'll keep the end zone. Well covered there. Incomplete. 315 remaining in the third quarter. Eric Crouch again. Back to pass. Time. 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 Don't go to the flat. He doesn't. He instead finds. Is that his tight end here? Let's see who we've got here. That's Johnny Rogers, the wide receiver. And another Heisman Trophy winner gets a touchdown here. Actually, the first Heisman Trophy winner has to score a touchdown in this game. And the extra point is good. Alex Henry making up for the missed field goals. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got a game. The red team, Bobby Newcomb, is going to try and bring this thing back. Bobby Newcomb may be clamoring to get in the game at quarterback at this point. But no, it looks like Tommy Frazier back on the field for the red team. Number 15, he is going to give the ball off to Mike Rogier with the other Heisman Trophy winner and a nice run for Rogier, who's really had his way on the ground today throughout. It's when they go to that lateral pass to Amir Abdullah that the offense goes to hell. All right, Tommy Frazier now on the run, and he's going to break the tackle, get up to the sideline, and Red finds itself in white territory. 38-yard line, third quarter, and Red looking to take the lead after finally having this game tied up by the white. Mike Rozier again with a nice run. He gets a chunk of yardage. Not quite enough for the first down. No, they're going to give it to him. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Tommy Frazier once again drops back, and he is pressured. Levante David, the defensive MVP of this game with a sack added to his fumble recovery early in the game. And Levante David single-handedly keeping this white defense and probably the entire white team in the game. All right, third and nine. Huge play here for Frazier in the red offense. He drops back under pressure. It's incomplete. Double coverage. He didn't have time to think about it. The white defense comes through. And now we've got a big field goal attempt for Chris Brown. He boots it. Not a field goal made in this game yet. And this one is good and true. Chris Brown makes it. Red takes the lead. 17 14, Eric Crouch is going to get his chance now with the white team and Dewan Gross with a judge. Oh, Chris, that's a fumble by Gross. Fumble by Gross. The ball's still on the field. It's still on the field. And we've got the red who's got a Jerry Murtaugh of all people. Picks it up with a three-point lead. Murtaugh on the fumble by Dewan Gross on what looked like it was going to be a 20-yard kick there by Drew Brown after having made the field goal. Murtaugh gets the ball, and Red has a chance to get themselves a two-possession lead right now. Wide open receivers everywhere. He's going to go to Rogier in the middle of the field. Rogier down to the seven. It's been all Mike Rogier for this Red offense right now. We're going to see if Red's going to continue to feed Rogier with just five minutes left. We are now into the fourth quarter. Frazier back to pass, throws into coverage incomplete there. He's had Fryer up in that top corner all day long. Let's see if he looks for him right here. Pitch right now. Rogier looking for it, looking for it. Ooh, in another era, Rogier would have looped that back and then looped it back again and then ended up scoring the touchdown. All right, we got Frazier giving it to Rogier from 10 to 5, all the way in. Mike Rogier, touchdown red. Boy, started by that Jerry Murtaugh fumble recovery. And now the red with a two possession lead. The white is going to have to score twice in the final 426 of this ball game to get the victory in the opening act of the virtual spring game. What does Eric Crouch and company have in store? Still not a catch for Stanley Morgan. Johnny Rogers only one catch. And Dewan Gross again is going to try and give the white a short field, but the stop is made. Eric Crouch trots out. 407 left. No back field here. Eric Crouch back to pass. He may be looking to go deep here. Looking. Hey, they finally made a pass completion to the flat, and that's Matt Harrion 
from Pierce, Nebraska, and he gets the first down. Good to see his knee not completely uh, shredded like last time we saw him play. All right, Eric Crouch, uh, back to pass here. He's looking, he's looking. He's got a man wide open. He's going to run. No, he's got a man, and it is. Oh, it is tipped there by the defensive back. I don't know who it is because it doesn't tell me, and I can't remember the roster, but Eric Crouch nonetheless can't quite get enough on that pass. I think he was looking for Rodgers there for the touchdown, and again, throws into coverage, looking for Harry in there, and now third and 10 for Eric Crouch in the white, and this is a huge play for the white team. You've got to think this is four down territory. Looking for Stanley Morgan for the first time, and the red secondary. Ladies and gentlemen, the plays made by the red secondary, when we go back and talk about this game in years in the past, excuse me, years in the future, we are going to talk about this red secondary performance, and there's another one. There is another one, Nate Gary with the interception. Sioux Falls, South Dakota is there at the right time, and now Red is going to be able to run some clock, and they'll run that horrendous play once again to Amir Abdullah. If he would drop that, that would be a fumble, but he does get it. What is the deal with that formation and play? I have no idea. Empty backfield here as Red looks to run time, and instead they're going to pass the ball. They're going to pass, and they're going long on this one, and that one is broken up, incomplete. That'll stop the clock. 152. Curious play calling by the Red sideline there. Tom Frazier now back to pass. Once again, looking, 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 and he goes and he gets Irving Breyer was blanketed. I don't know how he caught that thing. White is going to start using their timeouts. Boy, they're going to they're going to need a miracle here at this point, folks. Tommy Frazier back for some reason passing. Someone just rolled by him. I don't know what's happening. Irving Breyer. Irving Fryer can't haul it in. Almost intercepted. Frazier's got a third down, I believe, now. And the pressure is there. And that's Levante David once again, single-handedly keeping the white team in this game. Third down and 19 now. Can the white somehow get the ball, score quickly, get an onside kick? We will see. Tommy's going to run it. Hasn't run much today, and he does. Gets a little bit, not enough. And the red team is going to have to punt. Boy, not much time, though, for White. They're going to need an absolute miracle here at this point. Not to mention, Juan Gross not fumbling. There it is. Gross is going to he not even have a chance to field it. That punt takes about 37 seconds off the clock. That'll leave White with the ball. 25 to go. Eric Crouch is going to have to tear it out here and kick that. It's just a horrendous pass right there. And 16 seconds left, second and 10 for the White. You've got to think they're looking deep for Johnny Rogers here. And it looks like they've got him. And it looks like they've got Stanley Morgan. And he still is catchless today. Third and 10, two seconds left. Well, it's all over but the crying at this point. But they're still going to try and get one. And there it is, Stanley Morgan. I don't know if it's any consolation, but he will not go without a catch today. But that is the game. Mike Rozier, the offensive MVP of this game, 13 carries, 101 yards. Tommy Frazier, 55% passing. Irving Fryer with those two touchdowns. Three catches in total, almost at 100 yards. The white offense struggled. Only 94 yards rushing, 83 yards passing. So a difficult day for the white team. Reds win 24-14. Thank you so much for joining us for the Tecmo Super Bowl spring game. I hope you enjoy the Xbox 360 version of the spring game, even if you are too old to have ever played an Xbox 360. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.